bananas. The fun fruit is available all year. People love it because it's portable. You don't have to do anything to it except take it and then peel it and eat it. Great for lunches and hiking and all of that. I wanted to show you today what's available in the stores when you go. And over here I have the different ones you'll see. This one is green. You see how the green is up here and yesterday it was even greener. Um, the green ones are underripe. They'll be harder to the touch. This one's really still quite hard. Um, but it only takes three to four days in, in the room temperature to, f to make these ripen. Um, so if you bring these home, you put them on your counter and you let them ripen. If you need to speed up the ripening, you can put them in a brown paper bag. But be sure and check it. And then here, these are really hard to pick up because they are past ripe. If you'll notice, they have the brown spots. They're just past ripe. You see how quickly they can come apart. And when you're in the store, if they've come apart, don't get them because the dirt can go inside and people can touch it. But these are past ripe. And if you can get these, these are good to put in the freezer uh, to use for baking or eat that day sliced up in a salad or something. Now these are even further along in ripening. You'll notice that most of it is black. Now these will taste really banana-y banana and they are fun for using in baked goods or putting in the freezer to use later. Um, but they are really past ripe. And then they'll eventually just turn totally black. The other thing you find in the banana section are plantains. You'll notice how much bigger they are. They're usually green. They stay green longer than these do. Um, these that we buy and eat here in the United States are called dessert bananas because they're sweet. We can just peel them and eat them, no cooking required. But with the plantains, they do have to be cooked. Um, and that's going to be another show, so watch for that one for plantains. But I wanted to let you know what this was because it's sitting next to the bananas usually in the produce section. Now, I talked about bringing it home and freezing it. I brought one home yesterday. I froze it. It was solid a while ago, but this has been thawing for a few seconds. Um, it will eventually turn totally black. The interesting thing is co that's how cold affects the bananas. But when you peel it, the meat inside will be the way it was when you put it in. So it can keep for you. So if you have a few that are getting ripe and you don't want them to get black, stick them in the freezer. They'll get black, but then the meat stops uh, ripening, so they're good to eat. Uh, because they've been frozen, they're not as good for your uh, taste palate um, because the, you know, the, the liquid's inside, but there's not a lot of water in bananas. We're going to cut the bananas and prepare them. And as I mentioned, they discolor on the outside once they start ripening, but they also discolor on the inside. We cut off the end, and then I peel it from the other end because it's easier to get it going. And these are the little fibrous strings, and some people don't like them, and some people do, but I usually pull off the big ones just for the people who don't like them off the little knob on the end and then you have some choices of how to take care of this as I mentioned it will discolor once it's exposed to air so I have a I have squeezed a lime in here because I love the taste of limes you could use lemon and then as I slice it and I like to slice mine on the diagonal because I think it's prettier makes some more exposure then I just lift them up and I just stick them in there for now and then I just cut them all up. And if you get it all cut up and you get it in there, then they will not oxidize or turn black. Of course, now if you're just going to eat it and you wanted to do this and put it on your cereal in the morning, no need to do this. Just put it in the cereal. It's one of my favorite ways. And then you can just stir them up to be sure they get coated with the lime juice. And then you can do more. And you'll see about how much lime juice you need and you might have to add some. Now. The other thing you can do, especially with the more ripe bananas, is that you can take these and you can mash them up. And it sometimes it's better because then it's not like the gushy side, you know, the slices that are kind of gushy. So what I do is I cut off a little of that and then I would take a fork and just mash it. And you could add a little bit of the um, wine juice to it or the lemon juice. Um, I've even added orange juice, but I have to say, I think the lime and the lemon work best. But they, it mashes very easily. The ones that we put in here wouldn't mash as easily as these. 
And then you can put this in the freezer like this, or you can put this in your baked goods, or you can use this as toppings on tops of ice cream and those kinds of things. So there's the mashed. These are the sliced. Now, there's one way to think about how to use them that a lot of people don't think of. Oh, got to get that out of the way. Especially these that are just overripe, the ones that had just part of the black on them and not totally black, is that we can grill those. And you can do it indoors on your grill or outdoors on the grill. And they taste really yummy. I've also grilled the ones that are green. Um, and they're not quite as yummy, but it's amazing how much the heat helps it ripen as it's cooking. So on these, I want to cut them the long way. And the reason why you want to do that is so that it doesn't fall through the grate and it stays together. And I'm going to have it broken. Looks like mine's going to break. So that you can just lay these on the grill just like that. You could put a little butter on them if you like. Um, I usually take the end of a lemon or a lime and I just run it on it because it makes it makes flavoring added to it. But then you can put these on and I would put this side, the rounded side, on the grill first because this side can kind of get stuck if you put it on first. It's another reason to put a little butter on this side because they are have the juicy. While I have this open, I want to show you that it is a seedless banana. Uh, there are bananas that have big seeds in them. But these have been cultivated to have no seeds. But you can kind of see where they would be right there. Um, and that part, if you notice, is turning darker before the outside edges are. This is kind of a lesson in the botany of bananas. So we can grill those. You can add the bananas to any dish. So say you're putting a roast in the oven and you'd like to have fruit. So you could put oranges and bananas with it and cook those with it. Um, the other thing to help keep things from being discolored is to use a stainless steel knife. Uh, and don't cook anything in the aluminum pots when you're using this because they will discolor better. So that's all about bananas.